Hey, Don, got a holiday joke for you. All right. Why are Christmas trees so bad at knitting? <laughs> why are they knitting in the first place? No. What, why? Because they're always dropping their needles. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time again for another Tuesday tip. And this one, again, we're working on the holidays. And this tip talks about getting your kids involved. You know, I can remember as a kid, my mom involved us somewhat, not dramatically, but we would be able to, like sometimes she didn't let me roll the cookie dough out. Well, I got to sift the flour. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but many times, I think parents tend to get in the idea of got to get it done, and so they don't involve them because I can, you know, it's I can do it faster, mm -hmm. I, I can do it a little better, you know, uh, wrapping the gifts, uh, you know, I, I, we've lo always let the kids wrap their own gifts, and they didn't always come out the prettiest, most elegant wrap. No. But they were so happy and pride, you know, proud of what they did that it made it made a world of difference. And we even did a lot of times made wrapped in a brown paper bag, and then had them draw. We used to have those stamps and stuff, stamps ink stamps it. that we would stamp Santa Claus on it or something. And I can remember sitting with someone and like showing them ways. I remember my dad taught me, you know, how you fold the crease, the corners, and everything, yeah. and uh, making, you know, carving out extra time to make it enjoyable. You know, maybe you have a bunch of things you want to bake. And you do some of that on your own, and then you say, okay, I'm going to take extra time. I'm going to pick a day when I can allow even more time to get them involved, especially if they're younger, right? And it might take twice as much time for them to help, but they enjoy the experience. Yeah, it, it's really about them more than anything else, you know, to make it joyful for them. You know, I, I remember as a kid, my, my parents made it pretty fun for us, you know, we... I looked forward to it. I got excited about it. I wondered what Santa Claus was going to bring, you know. So getting them involved is really important in, in setting the atmosphere for the for the holiday. And, you know, um, I know when Harrison was little, there was like a secret Santa shop. And I remember way back when I was in elementary school, we had this in school where it's a place for kids to go shop. So it was a safe place. I think it was at the Children's Theater. You know, I didn't go with him. They Somebody walked him through, and they got to pick out, you know, I gave him money, and they were gifts that were, you know, inexpensive, $1 to $10. And he got to pick out gifts for the family. And I know we've done that now that the kids got older and they could drive. They would take their siblings, you know, to the dollar store, you know, to buy gifts for mom and dad. And just oh yeah, how special that feels for them to be giving. Oh, my... <laughs> My big gift when I was a kid was getting mom um, hand cream. Um, I'm trying to think of the brand too, because Pons. It was Pons, yeah, <laughs> you know, and that was a big thing for me. And and I I was I had a hard time keeping it a secret. You know, I wanted her to unwrap it as soon as we got home, kind of thing. And so it was that was fun. So your dad took you to the store. Yeah, yeah. To do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just getting them involved. It makes a, a world of difference for a holiday. And remember, the most valuable gift that we can give our families and ourselves is being present in the moment.